Take apart two-dimensional shapes, lesson 12.7. We can take apart a two-dimensional shape by drawing lines to show each shape that it has inside. We can take apart a rectangle into a square and two triangles. We can take it apart into four triangles. A square can be taken apart into two triangles. And we can take it apart into four squares or many squares. If we draw more lines inside and make them all the same size, we can have nine squares, 16 squares, 25 squares. And if we draw even more lines, we could have 36 and 49 and 64 squares and make all kinds of tiny little squares inside of here that are all the same size. We can draw lines to show the parts of a shape. We draw a line through the middle of a circle, we cut it in half. We have two semicircles. We can cut a triangle into two parts. We can see a triangle here and a triangle here. We can draw lines to show four triangles inside of a triangle. We could even draw lines to show five triangles inside of a triangle. One, two, three, four, five. We can draw lines to show two rectangles inside of a square. Draw lines to show shapes inside. It wants us to show two triangles from this rectangle. Do you know how we can make two triangles? from the rectangle? What if we did this? Do you see the two triangles now? Here's one, here's two. We just went from this corner across and down to that corner. Show two rectangles. We have one rectangle, it wants us to show two rectangles. So it's inside of this rectangle. So if we go like this, and split it down the middle in half, we'll have a rectangle here and a rectangle here. We'll have two long skinny rectangles. Can we show two rhombuses and two triangles? Well, if we go from here on an angle and from here on an angle, we can go like that. Here's one rhombus, two rhombus, and one, two triangles. See that? Show a trapezoid and two triangles. We could go on an angle here, and we could go on an angle here, and here's our one trapezoid, and then we have one, two triangles. See them? Now, how many triangles can you see in all? How many triangles do you see in this picture? I can see the easy ones inside, one, two, but do you see the big one that's going all the way around? So there's a big triangle going all the way around the outside. There's the little triangle on the left and the little triangle on the right. So there's three triangles here. The lines make three triangles, one, two, three. So how many rectangles can you see in all? Do you see the one big one? And then this one on the top and this one on the bottom, so that's three. So we have one big rectangle, the rectangle on the top and the rectangle on the bottom. That's three rectangles. How many trapezoids can you see in all? I see the big one going around the outside. I see a little one on top and a longer skinny one on the bottom. I see three. There's the big one going all the way around. There's a little one on top and the bigger, longer one on the bottom, the wider one on the bottom. See it? So trapezoids can be different sizes. As long as they have a top and a bottom, that are going 
the lines are going the same way and the sides are leaning inward, they're slanting inward, and they're the same length. See that? Then it makes a trapezoid. Our very next video is the beginning of learning about fractions. We're going to learn about equal or unequal parts. That's lesson 12.8. We're going to talk about when we split a two-dimensional shape into parts, are we splitting them into equal parts or unequal parts? I hope I'll see you there. Bye.